Hey, Minute Bash, 28th of June, 2019. And this is basically a continuation from the other video, really, the March for Pride. And, you know, I have nothing against these people. They, I just believe that the majority of them don't have a clue as to what they're doing. And a lot of them are just seeking to fulfill the emptiness inside them. And they end up falling for the trap of the flesh and the emotions and the fake love. You know, this is the way the devil works. You know, he doesn't mess around. It's very subtle and very real. Okay, the truth matters. And what I'm going to show you just illustrates how the hand of Satan has been at work in this world from the beginning. Through the lusts of men the love of money, the whole nine yards. This is how the devil works, okay? He he portrays himself as an angel of light, but your eternal soul is trapped until you are reborn in the spirit of the living God through Jesus Christ. And you cannot understand the full truth until you develop a love for it and an understanding that you do live in a very dark, evil world that is getting darker and darker by the day. You need a savior, and no man is going to be that savior. It's not going to happen. There's only one truth, one life, and one way, and that's Jesus Christ. But what I wanted to show you, and I didn't get a chance to get to this in the last video, but where this um, march begins, okay? Sixth Street and Seventh. It begins right here in this big square right here. You have this Union's Park or whatever it is. But right here, this square is called Worth Square. And there happens to be a big giant obelisk right there. Okay, William Worth, of all things, it has to be William Worth. W.W. -W, the 23 and 23 again, right? That is right there at the beginning of the march route that they will be taking on Sunday. Okay. Now, a lot of people don't know that there are several prominent obelisks in Manhattan. And the most uh, well-known, I would have to say, would be Cleopatra's Needle over in Central Park, which is right behind the Metropolitan Museum, which runs along Fifth Avenue, the same road that the parade will be going down. Okay, so Cleopatra's Needle, a very, very well known obelisk. And this is the real deal. This is not a joke. This is like this was carted over here in 1880 with an extremely large amount of work involved. And then they erected this thing on February 22nd, 1881 with a, uh, a procession of over 5,000 Masons, okay? So they had quite the dedication here, if you, if you can understand what I'm saying. This is a real deal. The other obelisk is at the end of Lower Manhattan, down right across the street from Ground Zero. And it's at the, uh, the chapel, at St. Paul's Chapel. And this obelisk is known as the Emmett Obelisk. Okay, you can't see it because of the shadows and the trees, but it's there, and it is known as the Emmett Obelisk. And Emmett, uh, full Masonic ties with this guy. He was the District Attorney of New York, so on and so forth. Yada yada yada. You can see your new One World Freedom Tower back there with its minaret and its upside down, right side up pyramids. It's just insanity, you guys. But these are the pushpins of Satan. Okay? This is what they are. You, you just got to wrap your mind around this, you guys. Because if you draw a line between those two, between this obelisk across from the serpent's eye, because that's what that is, a serpent's eye. Right? And we go all the way back to Cleopatra's Needle. And it intersects with our march route. Okay? Not only that, it almost perfectly intersects with our William Worth obelisk, okay? Now this line, it runs from obelisk to obelisk, just so you know, because this is the work of the devil. And if you follow this line, it's not so much the measurement of the line, but where it goes. Check out this. 
Now, you tell me how this could ever be a, an accident or a coincidence that that line between obelisk and obelisk goes exactly through the Arch of Washington. That is literally impossible without a great deal of intent, if you understand what I mean, because it was intentional. Just like everything we see in the realm of the evil that we're watching manifest is all intentional. And this march goes right along just short of the arch and continues on over past the stone wall at 5153 Christopher Street, okay? That happens to be just perfectly parallel with the arch. And ironically enough, if we do draw a line from the literal front door of the Stonewall Inn to the literal center of the arch, you just can't make this stuff up. It would be a foolish thing to do if you did. 555 yards, 1,666 feet. Seriously? This is a real thing. This is a real spirit that you're dealing with. And it's very powerful, but it's got nothing over Jesus Christ. Nothing. That's why you need to be washed in his blood. Okay? Now, the last thing I want to show you. This was brought upon me in the last video that this is all about licentious liberty liberty it just kept coming into my thoughts and reading it all over the bible and how the licentiousness that we're seeing is just out of control so of course i have to draw from there to the statue of liberty right right from the front door of the stonewall inn over to the statue of liberty and this is just crazy, you guys. It truly is. Right to the Statue of Liberty. And again, you couldn't make this up if you wanted to. 6,666 yards. Not an accident. Okay? And again, this is just to illustrate to people that you're not dealing with, you know, evil men smoking cigars in the penthouse of Trump Tower. This is like a real real deal for your eternal soul and jesus christ is the only door the only key the only way the only truth the only everything as we watch this manifest you understand this is a real war and it's for your soul so get in there and seek the truth with a humble sincere heart knowing that you need a savior no man can pull you out of this no way no how ain't gonna happen and it's coming soon. There are things coming that you need Jesus Christ. So I hope you seek him. I truly do. I could just keep going and going and going. I, I did a video not too long ago. I've probably done a couple videos uh, pertaining to the Bunker Hill Monument in Boston, Massachusetts. Another giant Masonic monument all the way down to the Washington Monument in D.C. And I drew a line between those two. And wouldn't you know that it intersects perfectly through Manhattan, dividing these obelisks and almost intersecting with these things perfectly. You can't get around this stuff. And I'll take you to the, to the ends of these lines to show you that this is, in fact, a truth. The Bunker Hill Obelisk Monument complete with a Masonic temple, a very nice Masonic temple, I might add, all the way down to the Washington Monument, perfectly dissecting Manhattan, as well as Philadelphia, all the key places in the beginning of the United States, the Rebellion 13 colonies. You can't make that up, man. And that line is literally... 396 miles long. 396. And intersects perfectly through Manhattan <laughs> with, with such precision that no man could ever do this without the help of a spirit. You see what I'm saying? I really do hope you do because this is important to understand what you're dealing with and that Jesus is the only way the only truth, the only life. Seek him. Hear him. Peace and grace to y'all. Many fish.
Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, 